Hello, and uh, we want to tell you something about our short-term development plan of the i3. We have built many i3s in our workshops, and uh, we like it a lot. It's a very good machine. But some things we would like to change on short term that we think uh, it, the machine might look a little bit better and also might work a little bit better. To start here from with the uh, the X, the sorry, the Y um, unit basically because you can take them out of each other uh, quite easily. Uh, what we want to do in the first place is to replace the front side with a little piece of aluminum because the plate is being milled. And if we puzzle out the, the bed holder, uh, we can also get out two pieces of aluminum that go here, and then the front and the back side look much nicer. Uh, the next thing we want to do is um, to put a little hole in the in the X Z plate, so the, the the wires for the extruder run a bit smoother. That's not such a big thing. Um, what is a big thing is that we would like to bring the power supply in this space. It is going to fit. The only thing is that the timing belt of the Y has to go all, all the way to the side, which uh, does not have any implications for the functionality. And it also means that in the back side we have a lot of space. And in this space, we want to use the original packaging of the of the ramps electronics to put it in. Maybe put it a bit more out of each other, the the rods, and then we can also put the electronics there, which then again gives the second advantage, and that is where on earth do we leave the display? Um, the display we put in the front which was previously kind of impossible because you can only attach uh, around 30 centimeters of uh, wire to attach it to the ramps and now it looks nice it's straight in front uh, it's where it is where it should be and that's where we're gonna put it um, yes talking about uh, the plate as a little detail, what we like to do is to put here a, a small screw. So if we start printing, the, the nozzle can be here so it doesn't ooze so much while warming up. What we also like to integrate is some small knobs. So you don't have to have a screwdriver to level the bed. Uh, that might be very nice. Next topic is uh, end stops. Uh, all these end stops, uh, they are mounted in such a way that they are very fragile and also on a rod that can rotate and by the, that it loses its position. So we want to fix them in a, in a very secure way and also put a kind of small cover over it so uh, it doesn't get bent too easily. Um, the general look, we like to round up a little things a bit uh, now things are very edgy and we make t want to make it more round and now we are looking at the, the z-axis anyhow we also want to have this close off so it is covered and also cannot accidentally go out or for whatever reason um, there is another problem that the i3 has it's not a problem but it just looks very silly uh, that if the uh, the threaded rods of the z-axis rotate sometimes they wobble a lot um, the reason is that the coupling which is a very nice and simple lightweight coupling is um, is not screwed in perfectly straight and we try to make a nice tool for that to, that you can always uh, screw it in uh, perfectly straight Yes, then on the X bridge we like to uh, flip this motor so the body goes on the other side so it looks a bit cleaner and it also leaves uh, more space here for the electronics that are not there anymore anyhow but <laughs> and um, oh yeah, also we want to clean up this uh, bearing a bit because it doesn't look so nice Yeah, and then the last thing about the extruder, 
as you might have seen in previous videos this is uh, the, one of the first uh, pre-alpha 00 versions of the extruder for uh, like a proof of concept it's really open it's easily to be built as a dual extruder they are then put in a v-shape and you can see the complete filament path and you can see everything that's happening which is nice for uh, people that are new to 3d printing so they uh, can have quick understanding of what's going on but also for you the user it's always nice uh, that you can perfectly see what's going on uh, because it's important that are uh, some of the topics that we like to solve uh, soon and we keep you updated and of course we put all our files uh, online so see you